okay first point cash holding risks we have already seen cash holding risk in the previous chapter first of all there will be a chance of theft or forgery or even errors which are innocent mistakes second the central banks what is central bank and what is the bank clearing system let me give you an example for this for example I am having a bank account in ABC Bank and let's suppose my name is Sajid and my bank account is in ABC Bank then there is a completely different bank with the name of XY Z bank and my customer has a bank account in XYZ bank now I want to receive some payment through check from my customer but my customer is holding the check book of XY Z bank. So what will happen? My customer will send me the check of XYZ bank. I will receive it. I will take this XYZ bank check and I will go to my own bank. I cannot go to XYZ bank because my personal or business bank account is in ABC bank. So I have to go to my bank which is ABC bank. I will deposit this check in my own bank account but when my bank will receive the money immediately they will not transfer the fund why because ABC bank doesn't know that this customer in their XYZ bank account does have sufficient funds or not so what ABC bank will do they will take the check and they will go to another bank which we called central bank in UK we called it central bank also in U European countries we called it central bank in, in USA we called it Fed Federal Reserve and in Pakistan we called it or India we called it state bank this is the main bank which is responsible to operate all the transactions and functions of all the other private banks in our country and obviously this will this is mostly government owned bank now in this central department or in this central bank there is a department which we called clearing house now my bank ABC bank will take this XYZ, XYZ bank check and they will go to central bank in the clearing house then on the same day XYZ bank their representative will also come to the clearing house my ABC bank will give the check to the XYZ bank they will take that check they will go back to their bank they will verify that whether the customer is having enough money in their bank account or not and after that they will deduct the money from my customer bank account and on the next day they will give this check back to my ABC bank and they, they will also verify and they will give a confirmation that we deducted the amount from um, customer and now you are good to credit the money to your customer bank account so after this verification on the next day from the clearing house then my ABC bank will whatever cash amount is written on the check then will deposit in my bank account only after the verification from the clearer, clearing house. 
So this is the way what we called bank clearing system which involves the central bank or government owned bank. But um, what is the biggest problem with this? Usually this the check if for example I am having my bank account in ABC bank and my customer is also having ABC bank the check will get cleared usually within one working day. But if my customer is giving check of XYZ bank to me so obviously it will be problematic and usually if it's a cross check in the previous chapter I told you that cross checks will always going to be more time consuming so because of this that all the different banks cross checks will go to the bank clearing system and obviously it will be time consuming usually it takes three working days to complete all of this process of bank clearing system so I hope you are clear with this bank clearing system now after this what are retail banks see there are different type of banks some are called merchant banks merchant banks are such banks which only deals with corporations and companies and they do not deal with individuals then we have retail banks which are relevant to you in this course Retail banks basically deal with individuals. They will offer the individual current bank accounts where they can deposit the money and they can withdraw the money anytime. Then they also offer saving accounts. What are saving accounts? That when customer deposit money on the saving account, so they need to, the bank will block the money and will hold the money for some specific time period. And over this amount that bank is holding they will pay some percentage of interest to the individual then sometime they also give house loans for example then they also uh, give some time education loans for example along with that they also issue debit or credit cards to customers so these are basically what usually retail banks do so I hope now you can differentiate between retail bank and merchant banks merchant banks do not offer such kind of services but whatever services they offer they offer them for big corporations and government institutions after this bank customer relationship bank can be receivable or payable for example if you are investing money in savings account so bank will pay you interest if you are borrowing money from the bank, so bank will receive interest from you. Bank customer relationship can be bailer and bailee. For example, I am doing a business, I am short of cash, so I can take a bank overdraft from the bank or I can take a loan from a bank. So bank can bail me out from a difficult financial situation. So this relationship is called bailer or bailee relationship principal or agent sometime I will give some authority to my bank and bank can perform transactions on my behalf for example in the previous chapter we discussed direct debits or standing orders these are what in such kind of transactions bank will act as our agent or we will be principal in this kind of transaction then mortgager or mortgagee Sometimes if we need a loan and we have a property, so we will pledge a mortgage of our property to the bank and in return, bank will give us loan amount. So these are all the typical type of transactions that bank and customer can have. Then after this, bank can also play an advisory role as well. If you want to do some kind of pension planning or retirement planning, or if you want to take insurance, for example, so bank usually also offer such kind of services or advisory services for their customers as well. 